So I'm going to break down how to fix a majority of the you know basic iOS 17 install issues that you may be having. Now, I've been running to a problem within iOS 17, so far installing it, where it will just keep pausing. The update keeps pausing, and the only way I've been able to fix really a multitude of those issues where it's pausing or it's not installing, or whatever, is by restarting the iPhone and downloading and installing the update again. It's very annoying, but pretty much what you're going to have to do is hold down the top volume button and basically the side button until your phone basically gets into this panel, slide to power off, and essentially turn it back on and try reinstalling the update again. For a lot of issues out there, that's probably all you're going to have to do, and that's pretty much what exactly I would recommend doing here too. So restart your iPhone, and you want to check if that ends up fixing the problem for you. If it does, perfectly. You know, if it doesn't, then probably you want to try another thing, which is actually by going through and double-checking your Wi-Fi connection. So if you're able to go through and you know connect to you know Wi-Fi, that's probably going to be the best thing to do. If you're using your data connection, that may have an issue. So try strictly only doing it on Wi-Fi, and you want to try doing it again. Go into General, click on Software Update, and try going through and installing the update once again, and that could very well end up fixing the problem for you. Now, the other thing, if you're not able to see the iOS 17 update, that might mean because you are not on the developer beta. You will have to, this year specifically, you will have to have a developer account in order to actually basically install the actual update. So that can be kind of annoying, but if I were you, I would probably just do it anyway. So it's $100 a year. You're going to have to pay for it. There's no other way around it this year. So if you have that update, you should be able to see it here and you should be able to install the developer beta just by coming into this panel. So the other thing you can do is just make sure you have enough storage installed on your device. So just click on iPhone storage and make sure you have enough storage, which for a majority of people, you might already have enough storage, but just double check you're not running out of storage here either. And those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix those issues. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.